Hi, I'm Don Boden from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today we're going to be checking out Soundiron's Happy Drum in this Quick Look video. Sound Iron's latest release here, Happy Drums, is a contact player instrument compatible with the full or free version of Native Instruments Contact 6. It's on a special enterprise, 49 bucks, normally $63 at the time of doing this video here. And this is a sample set from four different of the Happy Drums created and crafted by the Happy Drums company in Oakhurst, California. These are steel tongue drum instruments, so they got that nice tongue drum, tank drum sound, smooth fundamental tones, really cool harmonies and overtones in them. Before we dive into a quick look of happy drums, I've prepared a little mock-up. Uh, it's been about 20 minutes playing with the instruments. Really love this instrument set. All right, that was just a little theme. I think it'd be cool for a sci-fi TV theme or something like that. All right, as you can see, I've got Happy Drums loaded up. It's a contact player instrument. Loads right in your libraries tab, and they've got two main NKIs, a regular Happy Drums and a light version. I'm just gonna load it up here. We'll play around a little bit, take a listen. Now, I just love these uh, tongue drum, tank drums, whatever you want to call them. I really have thought about getting one for years, but there's so many great tank drum libraries out there. And Happy Drums is definitely one of those great tank drum libraries out there. I think what I like about it, just open it up off the bat, is because it's in Sound Iron's uh, newest engine, you've got the ability to turn on ambiences as well. which really make a whole nother instrument. Uh, you're able to access two layers of the original samples. So we can hear we got the brush samples here. And I really love the quality of these up high. It's so sparkly. They've got um, a couple different articulations with a pick, with the mallets, and with the brushes. As expected, you get that rounder sound with the mallets, 
the brushes give you that bite, and the pick gives you a real uh, cutting through kind of sound. You are able to combine it because you got two different layers here. Um, and then the, the way that they've developed this is kind of cool. You've got just your low drums samples, and you can see these are the original low drums samples. But then they've stretched them across the keyboard, so you've got a complete chromatic instrument. And then they've got the mid drum. The mid high drum. You can hear the character changes from each of these drums. Nice ringing out. And then they also have uh, just the high drum. And all of those are just with the mallets now. You can see they've got individual um, presets for each note so you could sample those across the keyboard or all of those notes for each of the drums sampled across the keyboard for brushes mallets and the picks some of the interesting stuff happens when you're pitching down the high drum low or the low drum way up high. It's kind of funny because you do hear those overtones. Especially once you get high with those. For the most part, I'm going to be going to the ensemble, which is a spread across all of the drums across the keyboard. ambiences. And as you can see, I've got a layer still of the mallets going, so we do get that nice rounded attack. If we want to turn that off and just listen to the ambiences. With each of these, uh, what I'm noticing um, is that the drones, although they are definitely unique drones, really warm low end you're able to go up and uh, play them up high to get something completely different
so there's these are just the categories they've got the drones the happy beances the happy synth a and b we listen to a little bit of those let's listen to c So very wide range. With the engine, you could also add the subsynth. So you start to see you're able to do some pretty cool stuff by layering both the mic mixes, the subsynth, and the ambience. And each of the in instruments uh, has, each of the layers has its own LFO filter and ARP as well. I'm not going to go into all of those details of playing through all the different, because I want to listen to these custom effects presets, which is where Sound Iron tends to excel in sound design. A lot of these uh, instruments have MW for mod wheel controls, so it'll show you what's going on here. Right now the mod wheel is doing a crossfade thingy. And this one takes advantage of the ARP to give us a funky rhythm right out of the gate. And this one enchanted happy drum. Uh, this was one of the ones that I used in the mock-up because it was just such a cool sound. I modified it a little bit. Thank you. 
Hey, I'm stuck in that chord progression today. Uh, this is the kind of scoring tool that gets me excited. I just love being able to do underscore with this kind of sound, these kind of sound design on top of a mm, ambiguous rounded tone instrument like a drum, like the happy drum here. Island breeze, so I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit of steel drum kind of sound. Now this is music box preset. Yeah, I could see why they'd call that a music box. That's kind of fun. Mystic Cave, and it looks like our mod wheels tied to fade from one collection of uh, mics and ambiences to the other. Let's do a couple more of these. Inspiring stuff there. Oh, let's listen to one more storyteller here. I'm loving it. I really love the textures and tones of the original sampled instrument. I really appreciate that the developer has dug in and divided everything out so that not only can you get the ensemble complete across the keyboard, but if you find some little quirky timbre that you like, um, you can pick that out 
even by just the note, not just by the instrument. The ambiences are very well designed. The substance additive is really cool. But the thing that absolutely takes the cake for me are these custom effects presets as they completely expand the library into hugely new uh, cinematic creative territory. Exactly why I think this kind of um, ambiguous toned instrument makes such a great scoring tool. But that's just my thoughts. Love to hear what you think about the library. Please comment below. Let me know. I'll include links to everything I mentioned, including Sound Iron's Happy Drum page in the description below. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're not already, and be sure to head back around for Fallen Fridays for our weekly deal compressor show, where we'll show the latest deals announced, new releases, and featured freebies.